Good morning, y'all. It is 426. Look real bloated in this jacket, y'all. Real bloated. 7.26 a.m. Um, I had a horrible night sleeping. It was just not it. <laughs> it was just not it. My back was hurting. I think it's because of the flu. Uh, I am going to go get swabbed today. For sure. And then my son has a dentist appointment today. I won't be vlogging that. Because um, I have videos I can catch you guys up on him. But um, yeah. We're about to go figure out life. Okay. So I'll see you guys at the the lab okay guys i have arrived so i'm not even gonna put my scarf on i had a little baby headache so get my wallet girl but i hope all is well hope all is doing well i should be in the system here Oy. but you never know let's go friends It's snowing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. My appointment is for four, no, 8.30. It's for 8.30, so I'm gonna take advantage of the time. This jacket is like all the way up here. Okay, it's for 8.30, no, 8.40. So I'm gonna take a minute of the time, go to urgent care, get my swab done, come back up, get this done, give me a coffee and a muffin, then go get my son, and then get him something to eat after. But um, I'm not gonna vlog that, you know? So, um, but I'll tell you what happened. So, day in the life of a mama, watch you taking care of self. So let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So, I'm out of there. And I'm not happy. I'm, so, I just got out of there, guys. <laughs> I just, I literally just got it out. Just got it out. Just got out of there that I always go to and now I'm past my window to get swabbed I said listen she said oh because you didn't come that day or the next day I said I came that day but you guys were in a rush to close um and the next day I felt like crap I mean you made it come first thing in the morning I'm not gonna give the devil the opportunity to get me upset. Now it's not worth any swabs. And that's the same girl. She keeps looking over here. It's the same nurse that said, no, uh-uh. I said, well, you know I came. Anywho, I'm here in my sermon, guys, um, from Sarah Jakes and her husband. And it's called God Did. I need you guys to go hear that message. Like, this is hand in hand. I need you guys to go see that message. I mean, hear it. Do it while you're cleaning. Do it while, while you're um, cooking. Whatever it is, I'm hearing it as I drive. It's so good that I'm literally going to hear it again. And it's about um, Jairus and his daughter. If you know the, the history of that, of uh, Jairus going for help for his dying daughter. And how God is teaching us how to have faith and to believe and to block out others and also a self check on make sure you don't get up every morning putting on a perform listen it's so good but putting on performance for they sometimes there's not even a they it's the they is us 
meaning it's in our heads you know what i mean it's in our heads there's something we could put our own stuff down like you're not gonna make it you're not gonna be able to do what you want to do you're not gonna like me I want to go ahead and have so many visions. But my vision that I always had was I was always going to be a successful person. I've always been ambitious. And I am going after it and after it. And guess what? Many people have wrote me and told me, you ain't going to be successful. Even from family, you ain't going to be successful. You're going to be nobody but baby. That's just confirmation that I am. And I'm going to keep believing. I need y'all to go watch that. I need you guys to go hear it. I mean, keep saying watch. All right? And we'll talk more after. I'm going to go back up for eight. Four. Oh, I got to go. For my blood work now. Okay, it's 8 20. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I'm out of here. I'm literally done with blood work. I know this jacket is like really big. My husband bought me this jacket and it's like a little warm. But all right, we're done. So, God willing, um, my doctor and I are going to be working really close with Osempic. And like I said, I start in the one milligram next month. So that's when you really see a weight loss jump. But, um, all fingers crossed everything went well and um again about that message i'm telling you guys to go check out it's basically teaching us the value of learning to block out the ignorance the the some messages listen it had me jumping like oh my god i just want to go ahead and share it with you guys because i know people battle that and trust me, I was one of those when I chose to ignore because I'm not ignorant to situations. Trust me, I'm very well aware of what is being said and done, but I'm choosing to ignore and preserve my energy and my my sanity for a reason. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Happy called. So basically, it's just teaching us how like to block certain things out and you know learn to recognize the message learn to understand you know that the enemy doesn't want our time the enemy wants our attention and once we give him our attention we're giving him our time and it gives me like chills because it's so once you learn that guys you're gonna be like oh my god bruh or, oh my God, sis, it ain't even worth it. That's why you stop responding. You stop sitting. That's why I stop responding. And stop but stop taking um, people's words so seriously um, about me that they would go ahead and want to perceive that on me. Because, what well, you think I'm supposed to believe in what you're saying about me? Absolutely not. Because I believe in God, not you or what man got to say about me. God knows the beginning and the end. And what you say about me is irrelevant. Because you want me to believe in taking that message. Which, now, who are you? So it's a really good message, guys. I'm telling you right now. I'll insert it again. But this is like a really quick mini vlog. I just got out doing my blood work, like I just said. I'm going to grab me some Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to go ahead and take my son to his dentist appointment. And I'm going to just get some rest for today. And really take in into heed of everything that I'm doing. Um, what I'm lacking in. And not beating myself up about. Um, and I, I am going to end. Oh my God, look at my dark eyes, guys. I, I didn't sleep. Um, I just was in misery. So, um, with my back, I couldn't just get comfortable. And plus, I think the medication I'm taking for the flu um, is giving me... Um, like it's making me stay awake so i am i am gonna call my doctor i know i'll update you guys on that right now um i'm gonna call my doctor see what she wants me to do um and take it from there because uh, i'm not gonna let the devil or his minions get it underneath my skin um because life is too short you gotta you gotta learn <clears throat> what people you keep around what messages you receive and what you hear you know because remember people get excited you know to even to share bad news with you or if you they know you're going through something they'll say huh so you know how do you feel now that that plan didn't work out you need to watch those you gotta watch those people they love to deliver bad news to you because they want you to take in that message and and, and receive that message and you know and start doubting god and doubting um all his uh all your dreams and all your visions god has allowed you to see and he knows you're working towards it and that person knows that you are and they want to mess you up with some negativity no you got to rebuke that 
You got to rebuke that. I battle myself every day with thoughts. And I say, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I will not tolerate it. I talk to myself every day. And we could be in our own thoughts about things. And we could block our own self. That's why I'm very big on sharing and, and telling you guys my testimony. And there's going to be a time where I'm going to make a whole video about everything. When God allows me to give you guys that time. But right now, I'm not going to go ahead of him. I have to learn to be patient. When you learn to be patient with God... You start seeing things the way he is trying to lay it out to you. But when you start rushing into things, then God's going to say, you should have just waited for me. You should have just waited for me to reveal unto you what was really good, what's really going on. You know, and I would like for you guys to enjoy that message too like I did. So, all right, I'm going to call my doctors. I'll keep you guys posted and I'll see you later. And the enemy hates it, you know, when you're doing good, when you when you setting yourself for change, setting yourself up for change, you know, whether it be for the good, and even if there was nothing wrong with you, you want to do better in life, you want to go ahead and save money, you want to go ahead and elevate, the devil will bring every little thing your way in order to get you out of character, get you out of what God has trying to transition you into. And honey, let me tell you something, I am fully equipped with the arm of God and I don't got time for for anybody's shenanigans and I'm sorry not sorry um but I gotta look out for me and mine you know and if I have to let certain people go if I have to say you know what love you from a distance um you know what I don't give up on you but good luck but I just can't have you in my circle you're negative you're too much of a drama filled person and the messages you're trying to send my way is not what I need and what you're the road that you're going down I try to lead you down the right path but I try to ignore everything and I just can't no more and that's just God revealing unto us who's really good and who's really the foe okay all right guys I'll see you in a bit and the thing is when the enemy is just trying to distract us to get our minds off of God, to get our minds into not believing no more, to get our minds off of what God has in store for us. So they're going to try to distract us, honey, but you got to be ready for that. You got to, that's when you got to say, mm -mm. that's what the devil wants. And that's why you see me often say, I let go and let God. And people have mocked me for that. But will those be the same ones that be calling on God when they need him help, when it's, when they need his help? They be calling on God when they want their way to pull through. God is not a God to be mocked. And you know, one slap in the face is you mocking God, you know. But God wants us to believe in him. And that's what the, the enemy doesn't want us to do. He doesn't want us to believe in our dreams. They don't want us to believe that we can make it in anything that we want to do. Or if it's for us, furthermore. Um he doesn't they don't want us to focus so when they get you out of focus they're happy and that's why you end up feeling like a dish rag after because you knew better and you gave in but what you got to do from that point on is you know you recognize you learn let's keep it pushing baby and this is what I'm trying to say. People talk about my YouTube. People talk about I will be on this platform. I ain't going now's the way. Because I'm not a quitter. Okay. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch me. Because I believe that God knows what he's doing with me. And I'm trusting our process. Trusting the process. And I believe in him. You don't need to believe in me or anything else. But I believe in him. I to stop trying to perform for mentally for people that are unstable for people who want to drive you and say they're crazy those people are crazy they want you to believe what they want you to believe I'm um, don't perform for them don't 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 no 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 focus on God focus on what he got for you don't people are cr listen People drive themselves crazy by believing in crazy people by entertaining crazy people and are you you're literally crazy at this point that's why you got to say, no, 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 no. I believe in my God. You can have your craziness to yourself. I believe in him. Call me crazy if you like, but I'm not entertaining you. And I'm not performing you. Performing for you no more. What I mean by performance is meaning you believe it in their lives. You're entertaining them with drama. You're, you're falling into the trap of the, 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 the craziness of it all. I refuse to live my life going back and forth with craziness. I'm good. They're, they're not stable. Get away from unstable people. Don't believe in them. Believe in God for your purpose. 
That's all I'm saying. Listen, in a self growth journey, you know, whether you know you believe in God or starting to or whatever you want to call it, listen, you got to learn the devil's going to hit you hard. And that's when everybody and their mama going to say everything about you. But you got to stand firm and believe. Trust the process. Trust the process. Okay, guys? All right. Oh. I'm home. I'm home. And I'm making me tea, lemon ginger, with probiotics in it, cause the girl need it. I took a nap when I got home because I actually came back from the dentist with my son. I don't know if I updated you guys. Did I update you guys? If I didn't, here you go. Basically, he has the two teeth in the front. Um, again, I will link in the video um, about what happened to it? Yes. No, that's fine. Okay, they are the one too. We're gonna make some rice crisp, rice crispy treats. So, so actually, what happened is my son just had a little delay in his teeth. Um, since he was a baby, he was a little bit delayed with the teeth coming in, but not by all. Like he wasn't off by much. But there's another box in my room. So you're doing what? So, um. You gotta get a different pot. No, you keep it okay? you can take it off. So, um, that's why there was a little bit overcrowding with the baby teeth and the new teeth trying to fight to come out. I mean, like, speed it up. So, we got, I'm just happy and I am excited that we got it figured out. Um, and I was most happy that there's teeth in there. You know, like, there's teeth in there, so I was really concerned that there wasn't nothing in there, you know, and that will be something. I was concerned, you know, so, but, thank God, I'm not complaining, it could have been worse, and the thing is that he does have teeth in there. So, it is starting to drop down, one of them are starting to drop down, the other one not so much, so in six months we gotta go back, and, um... You know, a game plan would be to see if the other two, dazzling I'm vlogging, um, to see if the other two went ahead and dropped along with the other one. So, if he did, then we're good. If worst case scenario um, is braces to pull it down. Yeah, my baby, my poor baby. No, but God is good. God is great. We got it under control. I'm not gonna complain. Could have been worse. And I'm just thankful that you know we never gave up and we got down to the bottom of it. Even if it took me going to different dentists to find one that I feel like has our best interest in their hearts and kind of you know are on the same track as us. You know, so meaning I want to know what's going on. But now Serenity's making Rice Krispie Treats. I'm making my tea. So I always do this when I lose weight. I've been doing this as a young girl. And what it is that I'll sit here. I put my hair a little bit too much, I know, guys. Um, my hair is, it needs to be fixed. It's in that awkward stage. And I was going to go wash my hair, but I'm so like, ugh, I'm afraid. I'm like, done. I'm not going to do it right now and get more sick. So I've been putting dry shampoo, which tomorrow I'll wash my hair. But we got to wait one second. I'll help you right now. So. Really, she needs me to help her. So, read the instructions behind the back of the box. These are my pants I want to fit into. Um, they are, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's like spandexy, and I, I see my, I see my vision in it, girl. Mm. One thing about me, I love workout clothes, outfits. Um, when I work out, it motivates me even more. I bought this the first go around when I was on my first weight loss journey, and um, I never got around to wear it. I don't know why. So I'm hanging these up on my wall. Um, so I know for a fact I just can't fit in it now. You know. But then I have this shirt that I bought at Rainbow's. If you've seen, I don't know. But on one of my videos I put on my husband's birthday. This is supposed to be an outfit for his birthday. But um, it didn't go around my booty. Hold on. Let me get it so I can show you guys better. So this is what... I wanted to wear for like new hands, girl. But my booty, let me show you my booty real quick. <laughs> Not like that. What? Oh. Uh, so I get all this out the way. This is what it is, okay? Okay. 
So, imagine these pants <laughs> right now on me. It ain't. It's not doing it. It's not going anywhere. So I still got a ways to go, but it's, I always hang them up for motivation. Um, and then this, when I first bought it, Rainbow said it was what? Oh, Miss Little Tifa is screaming for me. Hold on, guys. Let me hear her. Hold on. Hold on. for a little bit and decides to add his fix into his. I add a little bit of honey for mine since my flu is ugh. For the flu, because I'm not going to claim it. I'm not going to claim it. All right. Keep stirring, let it melt. Think about homeschool, your kids learn at any point. <laughs> right, Ma? <laughs> Oh my god, here goes dazzling, of course. All right, you get your pants, bud? Get your pants, I'll help you for pants. Pants. Oh, so you said pants. No, ma'am. So we use this pan. Which really, we need another one because these kids run through this. Which is right here, y'all. Hey. Okay, let's see. You want to go like this? Gross. Get the marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Now since they're thicker, better be careful. Let me get the vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. Vanilla, 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 vanilla. Keep stirring, girl. Put some vanilla. I have a McFarina. I was thinking of the other Was you? Wow, ma, we think just alike. All right, go, hurry, 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 hurry. Mm -hmm. Oh, one minute away. He didn't want to go. No, you need more than this, girlfriend. Did you guys do the the chocolates? I did. Oh my god. They're not Put the whole thing in my. But I, but I didn't do twelve yet. Huh? I didn't, I didn't do twelve yet. Okay, I think we have to add just a little bit more butter. One more little piece. Three or two? Emma? Three or two. Uh, just do one. So what you want to do is keep it from burning. Keep stirring your marshmallows. Why is it slipping though? Hold on. Yes. Yeah, put it in. There you go. Okay, but wash your hands. Stop wiping it on you, girl. You don't go to bed like that. That's nasty. All right, now we need to put a little bit of vanilla. Get a um, baño. You go hold it. I have to buy those. I have to buy a lot of things. So, yeah, guys. I let my kids touch the stove um, for life lessons of homeschool today. We learned a little bit. I was just so drained, I couldn't even do it. I was falling asleep on them. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> Did y'all even do your homework? Dads? Your work pages? Keep going, keep going. So we need it all melted before we can pour in the cereal. So how much one you're gonna use? Holiday. Holiday spirits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm make you guys a song like that. Where did Nova go? Nova, she been messing up my tree, little girl. 
She, I gotta tell you about Nova, her bad self. She is so bad. He's sleeping on a no blanket. He's, oh, see, everybody's selling all my cute little blankies. He's sleeping on a no blanket. Look at this. Ooh, look like fluff, fluff, fluff. Okay, let me know, let me know. Wait a minute, we still got some bubbles in here. So we got the rice creepy. Yep. Yep. And literally, this is like the easiest thing your kids can do. And it's fun for them. And it's a workout for your hands, okay? But, it's all a part of the process. <laughs> okay, we're almost there, girl. This year was actually really cool to eat it alone. It's good? No, it's gross. It's not gross, it's just plain. No, cereal. That's just piece of shit. Cereal's enough to not hang Okay, you getting ready? So <laughs> I'm open up that bag a little bit, please, because y'all like to rip bags open. Open. You hear it, guys? Watch. This Christmas. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. Huh? Huh? Okay. 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 They're talking to us. Shh. Oh, don't act shy now. <laughs> it was definitely talking. Oh. Oh. Oh, we talk back. Oh. I think. Why you a little bit loves like this? He's a little bit? He a little bit loves Red Krispies? Almost. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Him. Well, yeah, because he's a dog. He's really not supposed to be eating that, but it's okay. He doesn't eat anything that he's supposed to eat. That is true. Comment down below if you have a chihuahua like mine. <laughs>
we did everything so that's about it i thought i was recording but this is what i want to wear um for new year's with a nice little bra i'm gonna be home um that's to go to get this thing over my booty that's to go <laughs> all right and um i'm good on my calcium my protein i better be good on my protein um for 7.8 I don't know. I don't know none of this. So I'm gonna call tomorrow. I don't get it, so I'm gonna look this up and I'll get back to you guys on it. I'm a little confused. So, all right, guys. To the next vlog. See you in a little while. Because you know I'm gonna post. Be more consistent. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, guys. Share, share, share. Comment. Um, subscribe if you consider. And let me know what new topics you want me to talk about or whatever it is that you want me to do. Okay?